Okay, this is an example of the script error you get in BT email. If you try to add an email address to the contacts, that's over 30 characters long. So I'm gonna click contacts, and I'm gonna click, click new contact. Okay, so it's gonna ask me the first name and the last name, so I'm going to just call first name A, last name test, and I'm going to pop in an email address now in here. So, and the email address I'm going to type is this is a very long email address at, and there we go. <coughs> so it no longer lets me carry on typing. Now, this demonstration is in Microsoft Edge. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try it in Internet Explorer. As I say, we've frozen up, and uh, we might be able to add a few more. There you go, I can add another letter, but then I've frozen again. And I'm getting this, this, this sound, so... Uh, like I say, it becomes a struggle after about the 30th character. Um, like I say, I will try it again in Internet Explorer in a second. Um, <clears throat> I'll see if I can get out of this now. I'm just going to try and close this, this down. And, uh, yeah, I'll close this down. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing now in Internet Explorer. So I click on Contacts. And I click on New Contact. And the New Contact window comes up. And let's try it again. So let's try B now. Test. Oh, that was middle name, sorry there. I'm just going to B, let's put a capital B in. Let's try and do it properly. Okay, and let's go to last name, click into last name, B, test. Okay, and we go to the email address, click into email address, and let's try it again. So this is a very long email, oh, email, E S S at got a little bit further this time. The at sign hasn't appeared. B no. And uh, as as we can see there, oh, it started to appear, but no. And. Uh, Internet Explorer is now saying not responding. Oh, it started to respond again. Let's try at put the at sign in. And no, it's uh, it let's get a little bit further, I think, there. But um, yeah, I, I, uh, now it's it, it's not responding, and eventually you'll probably get an error saying. Um, that uh, it's a uh, uh, pause due to a long running script. But uh, okay, so yeah, there you go. BT.com is not responding due to a long running script. So let's give it a try in Firefox. I've tried this on six or seven computers now and it's happened on every Every single computer. I've also spoken to other people on the forums. One other user has tried it and got the same problem. Um, please feel free to try it yourself. Um, I'm trying to prove a point to BT that there is a, a problem in their system. Um, unfortunately, they won't. They're not taking me seriously, um, and they won't address the issue. Um, this problem actually came about when um, a user uh, found that he couldn't actually send emails because he had a email address in his contacts that was over 30 characters long. So it actually stopped him from sending any emails because every time he tried to type in 
the first letter of somebody's email, it was going through his address book and uh, completely hanging the system. So uh, anyway, back to it. Let's uh, let's try it in uh, in in Firefox next. Okay, so I'm now in Firefox. So I'm going to click on Contacts again, and then click New Contact. And in the first name, there you go, let's put in John, say. In the last name, let's put in Smith. And in the email address, let's try this again. So this is a very long email, oh, can't spell email, email address. Oh, got to the second S again, and oh, it hung there. It's let me put in the extra S. I'm just trying to put the at sign in, but nothing's happening. And there we go. A web page is slowing down your browser. What would you like to do? Stop it or wait? So again, it's failed in uh, in, in in Firefox. So uh, okay, let's try it then in um, Google Chrome. That's the only one we've got left, I think. Um, I mean, I know there's Opera, but uh, let's just try these for a second. Okay, so here we are in Google Chrome. So let's just click on Contacts. And then let's click on New Contact. And let's type something in the first name. So let's type John. In the last name, let's type Smith and click in email address and type again. This is a very long email address. And there we go. Oh, at, oh, just let me get further. In, it's gone really slow though. Extra. A success we've managed to get it to type in to uh, Google Chrome um, that's the first time it's done that but that really slowed down as you can I'm trying to delete now and uh, it's really gone slow so let's try that again And that's actually worked for the first time in Google Chrome. Um, so I'm surprised about that, but obviously there is a problem with BT. Now, I've reinstalled Windows on a machine, tried it in all four browsers, and um, the only one so far that's worked is Google Chrome, although it does become very, very difficult to use after 30 characters in Google Chrome. Um, I've got no add-ons installed on these browsers. They're vanilla. Um, they're the latest versions of each browser. The Windows systems all have got the latest updates on them. As I say, I've tried this on about seven or eight computers now and the problems occurred on each of them. This, in actual fact, is the first time that it has actually allowed me to uh, type the email address in um, in Google Chrome. Um, but uh, please, uh, could you, anyone out there that's got a BT email, not a BT Yahoo, but a BT mail address, um, or BT mail, uh, uh, BT email address that's actually with BT mail, please could you give it a try and report back in the comments below and let me know if it worked for you, preferably which browser you used um, to try it. Um, as I say, this has been a problem for one of my customers who's um, just, he, he couldn't actually send emails until we deleted this email address that was over 30 characters long from his contacts. He, his BT email just kept locking up. Every time he tried to type somebody's email address, into a new email. Um, BT, like I say, wouldn't take it seriously. They just kept saying, oh, it's your computer. Even though I tested the problem on seven or eight different computers, 
um, on various browsers and the problem was happening on various browsers. I've also got somebody else on the forums to try it and he's saying exactly the same problem. He's getting exactly the same problems, but still, BT are burying their heads in the sand on this one. Um, they're denying that they've got a problem with their system. Um, so please, 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 can you test it for us, uh, BT users, and post your comments below on whether or not it worked. Thanks a lot.